Okay. Hello, this is L again. Uh, this is uh, Steve, one of my employees. We're here to do an uh, SRP energy audit, uh, basically a, a blower door test. Uh, as we go through this, I'm going to explain what we're doing, show you tips on how you can save money by lowering your uh, utility bills. So we'll get started. One of the first things that we do is we're going to go through and document all your supply events and your return air events. Okay, first step that we're going to do in doing uh, evaluating your duct system is we're going to put a big fan in your door right here. Uh, basically what we're going to do is we're going to pull the air out of your house. Okay, we're going to check leakage in your whole house. For instance, if you have a 2,000 square foot house, you should have one CFM for every uh, CFM of uh, square footage, I'm sorry. Okay, and uh, pretty quick here, we'll get started, so we'll go from there. Okay, what we're doing now is we're going to go ahead and start exhausting the fan out of your house. Uh, we want to get to a certain number. Once we get to that certain number, we're going to do a pan pressure check. down this return in size because we're also checked the leakage in your return air system. Once I get down to size, we'll put our pan on it. We'll take our reading, see how much leakage there is. What we're doing now is we're going to check each individual vent for leakage at this point. Okay, uh, what we just did now is we checked each individual vent and return air for uh, individual leakage. Okay, now what we're going to do is we shut down our equipment. We're going to tape off every vent in the house, supply and return. Okay, we're going to, what that does is that separates your air leakage from your duct system from your house leakage and stuff. So it gives us a number to work with. 71. going to do now another part of our test is we're going to check room pressures basically what we want to know if the air going into that room is coming out of room because that can affect your utility bills and your comfort level so what we're going to do is we're going to throw our hose in here we're going to shut the door okay master bedroom is One point one. Okay, we finished our uh, room pressure test. Okay, this particular house passed with fine colors. It's under the limits that uh, we recommend repairs. Uh, when your rooms are pressurized, there are several different ways to get rid of that pressure. For instance, this house here has what's called jumper ducts. It has a vent. It has a flex going into around the hallway to another vent, so you can keep this door closed allows the air to come out of this room to that room which is going to keep your airflow going evenly throughout the house. So the duct in there, the jumper system, it actually comes out to this hall right here. Okay, uh, the den's tied into this, another bedroom and what it does, all the air comes out of that room, drops into here and goes back to the main return over here. So the system was designed right. Okay, we're going to head on up to the attic now. What we're going to look for up there briefly is we're going to check insulation. We're going to audit it. Basically, we're going to see if it's installed properly. We're going to make sure the flex is uh, hung properly so we have the full amount of air coming through it. We're going to see that, that any ductwork is sealed up there at the unit. So let's head on upstairs and check in uh, ductwork in an attic. For instance, this ductwork is a six inch line. Okay, it should have been ran up and looped around so it has a full six inches. It's cut down to about a three or four inch line which is restricting airflow. Okay now after coming down from the attic a few things that I want to point out that we caught was there was uh, insulation that wasn't properly installed not a lot of it but still that'll, that'll affect your heating and cooling bill. Uh, one of the main things that I found up there is the duck when they ran it, it wasn't strapped properly and hung really nice. They had it where it was folded over, so say uh, eight, 10 inch line, just a 10 inch line for instance. When it's crimped, it'll cut it down to like a six inch line that restricts your airflow and that'll affect your. Okay. 
Okay, we we finished our audit now. A few things I want to point out to the homeowner on this particular house. His house is pretty tight, real tight actually. Uh, at this point, there's no recommendations that we can do to save him money, but he does have peace of mind. Just a, a few things that we did find uh, that a little bit of duct in the attic that was crimped, which can be easily fixed. Even the homeowner can fix it by properly strapping it. Uh, as far as uh, room pressures, he has a great jumper system that was installed properly. So at this point, after doing all this work here, the homeowner knows that you know he, he has an efficient house, basically. So what that means to him, he has peace of mind. If you want to save you some money or get peace of mind, you know what? Flip that little red button.